Hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about Bless Hex Editor and uh, a startling discovery that I made. So let's click on this. This is uh, what a hex editor is, is uh, a device that allows you to see the bits on your computer that are invisible. Uh, the computer has normal characters, what they call ASCII characters, but it also has characters that aren't represented by any type of numbers or letters. Uh, well, I shouldn't say numbers, uh, you know, uh, numbers like characters like on the keyboard. They have their own numbers. They're in hex, hexadecimal, which is the language that the computers like to speak in. And uh, so I made this startling discovery. I actually tried to write an article for a slash dot, but slash dot didn't want to have anything to do with it. Uh, the question is, is, is your computer spying on you? And um, let's take a look. So uh, it all happened. Here, here's, here's how you open up files. Let's, let's open up a file. And uh, so I had was working on a robot, and um, I had spent quite a bit of time writing uh, uh, scripting code for it. And here it is under Raspberry Pi. It was on a Raspberry Pi as my quad spider robot. And uh, so what happened was is my dog peed on my robot and it destroyed it. It caused the, uh, the uh, SD card disk to crash. And uh, I lost, I, I didn't back up my uh, scripts, so I lost pretty much all of them. So here's an image. I copied an image from uh, basically, you know, an SD card like this. This is what the Raspberry Pi uses as its hard disk, two gigabytes. And so I copied that onto my computer, and I made it. It's, it's got an image file, and let's let's open up one of those and see what they look like. Okay, so. This is two gigabytes of just uh, image file from the uh, Spider Walker robot, and some of it's in text, so it has a, a, a hexadecimal representation, which is uh, you know uh, zero through ten, and then A through F, so that gives you sixteen uh, different characters, and it's got two digits of that, and this is the uh, the line where they're located on the disk so we can scroll down through it and, and a lot of it's in text and some of it's not some of the binary stuff is in not, uh, not in text so it just looks like pure gobbledygook and uh, actually let, this is not it is it let's open up documents raspberry pi um, okay, I, I opened the wrong one. Let's, let's do this one. It's 3.9 gigabytes. No, wait. Here's it. Okay. So here we go. Here's an, uh, uh, see there's a lot of zero, zero, and just random stuff. And it, it is a lot of stuff to search through. I mean, you can just search forever to try to find something. So I knew I wanted to do a search on something that's kind of unusual. So the way my robot worked is that I, um, I uh, had it uh, call different programs through PHP. And uh, let's f use the find command. And one of my uh, programs was called r2.php, so that's unusual. Uh, it wouldn't be uh, like a normal Linux command. So let's do a search on that. Uh, and we don't want to do a search in hexadecimal. We want to do a search in uh, text. So instead of doing a, you could do a search in numbers over here also. But let's let's just find find this in the text. And so here we go. And I started finding these files. If you look here, it says Windows. So, so what I was doing is I was accessing the robot from the internet. And I would use different devices to access it from. And here it looks like uh, the uh, Linux is keeping a log of every time something comes in, it tells you, uh, you know, what kind of device accessed it, uh, what kind of browser it was using, what its IP address was, uh, and last time I looked at it, I had these files out, it was telling you the time. 
so it gives you all the information that you can track stuff down. Uh, let, let's let's look around some more. There's some longer log files that I found. Uh, here's one. It's, it tells you the host, uh, keep alive, you know, the uh, device, and uh, here, here's another another log entry. We go down some more. It's telling you the commands that were used. Okay, here's a whole bunch of good stuff here. And so I, I was trying to find my my files that I wrote so I could recover them, and I just keep on finding all these log files. So now the interesting thing about these log files is that there was different types of them also. Some of them were just lists of everything that was attached to by by the uh, internet. If you're if you're going through IP. And uh, they had no, uh, different types of log files. One of them was everything that was attached through USB, like I was attaching an Arduino through it. It would talk to the Arduino, and it would s tell you what its serial number is, what it, what kind of device it is, what make and model, and just have all these lists. If you had a USB keyboard, it would tell you what kind of keyboard was attached to it. It would some of them would give you times and dates when they were attached. Uh, and uh, I, I'm not doing a thorough search now because it's two, two gigabytes of data, but uh, they would have other log files that would have like lists of commands that you executed. You use this command and, and the error messages associated with it. And if you look on your, your hard disk, you would never see these because they are not actual files. They're just written in the background between files. And so the only way you can possibly see these, so basically your computer is keeping a log of everything that you do, keeping records kind of spying on you. And the only way that you can see these is by using a hex editor. And so um, I just thought this was very interesting, and I, I wanted to um, share this. But the hex editor can be used for other things. It can be used for recovering uh, uh, things that you've lost. Well, here we go. Last snap. So there, it's uh, telling you that I was sending a picture over from the robot. Uh, here it is. Mozilla was the uh, web browser that tried to contact it. Um, here is uh, this one. Try the contact through uh, through Chrome, Safari. There's the IP address. All sorts of great stuff. And so your computers are constantly saving all this information in the background between the files, and uh, you cannot look at them unless you have a hex editor. So all this information, you, you think you delete a file, you haven't deleted it. It's it's still on the disk someplace, unless it physically overwrites it with something, all this information is always being stored on the disk. And so you can find all sorts of stuff. You have a hex editor. You, of course, if you're actively using the hard disk, I don't, I don't know if you can use a hex editor to go in and look at that. This is a file that I took off another uh, disk and put it onto my computer. And um, let's see, there, there was some other stuff. Let's see change mod. Let's let's do a search on that because I remember there were some some uh, files that had a uh, list of Linux commands that were used. Okay, here we go. Slash var slash run slash ssd. So these, these are commands that were used and it's keeping a log of them on what, what you were doing with uh, your computer. And it's save it, saving all your information. So if someone wants to come along someday and take a look at your computer, pull your hard drive, and do a low-level search on it, this kind of stuff will be on there. Anyway, just wanted to share this with you. And uh, it's a hex editor. Uh, Bless hex editor is a very powerful device that can be used to help you search for stuff. I was able to recover some of my... Um, uh, scripts that I wrote. I wrote some stuff in HTML, or not HTML, PHP. I guess it's partly HTML. Uh, some stuff in Python. Anyway, this is Dr. Janes, and uh, thanks for watching.